All right there, my peeps. My Wolverine peeps. I hope uh, Proto Man from Proto Retro is watching this. This is for you, because I know you love Wolverine. 16 inch Wolverine from Marvel Super Heroes. That's right. They made five different figures. The Hulk, I have. Venom. Spider-Man, Mail Away Punisher, and Mr. Wolverine. Oh yeah, and Magneto. I have three out of six. Okay? They're not easy to come by anymore. They came out exactly in 1990 from Toy Biz. 1991. Okay? So it was right there. 1991. 1991 Toy Biz Incorporated, made in Mexico, Mexico, and here's him without the mask. There's him without the mask. Zoom in. Zoom out. And then I'm going to put him right in front of you guys. Look at that, he has red eyes. He's awesome. Comes with his mask that goes in his face. Just snaps on. He has red eyes. Comes with this beautiful sword. And the sword it says to made no, the sword was made in China. The figure was made in Mexico, but the sword's made in China. Where was the mask made? Okay, doesn't say. I left um uh, uh what's it called? The uh, rubber bands on the the, the knife, um uh, the the samurai sword. It's because, so he won't fall off. He's beautiful. He's in, there. He's in his original co color cost, his original color cost costume. Uh, I like him. It's uh, before they ever did, it was the second, probably the third Wolverine they made. First they made the, the one from uh, in the 80s of Secret Wars. Then they made this line 90s then they made this one and then they they they, they started with the x-men uh, figures from toy biz it is a toy biz figure uh it has not much articulation one two three four five six points of articulation his claws are very small they get wear and tear very fast there's ways of cleaning this you just take dish soap and a soft sponge and you clean it very gently yeah, I'm teaching you how to clean too. It's very, very simple. Uh, one day I'm going to show you how to clean a vintage figure with stickers on it. With Yes, with a sticker. A rare, you, wanna, you want your G.I. Joes? I'm going to do it. You know what? Next one's going to be that. That's a good idea. Oh, Plastic Junkie, you thought of a good one. Okay. So what I like about these figures is that they're big. Uh, they're not figures that are desirable that some collectors like. But I like... All kinds of stuff. I don't care how ugly the figure is, I'll collect it. Why? Because it's easy to collect. Sometimes certain things are easy to collect. When you're like me and you, you have a sickness, for me it's a sickness to collect. I don't do it because... Like, how can I say? I don't. Not that I don't do it because I don't enjoy it. it to me it's a sickness. I have to have toys. I have to touch plastic. I have to open it. I have to have it in my collection. Once I have it, I'm content. And I go on with another collection, and another collection, and another collection. If I can't finish the collection, I quit. When I don't finish and I'll never touch again, is Starcom. It's too expensive. Dino Riders, too expensive. But, you know, in one of the videos I showed you the, what I did. Uh, the Bront Brontosaurus. So, back then. So what I could say is this, is that this line, I like it because it's different. I showed you the playset a long time ago, and I'm showing you bits and parts of figures that I have in my collection. So Plastic Junkie out, stay plastic, stay Marvel, and enjoy collecting.